In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a blog on Divi. Coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. So this video is all about how to make a blog on Divi. So I'm going to show you the do's and the don'ts and how to easily and quickly get up and running really fast. All right. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you that if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. And also there's another bonus. I also have a Photoshop for web designers course. Again, that comes in free if you buy Divi using my affiliate link. Now, once you've bought Divi, all you have to do is to go to funnels to income.com on the bottom right, you're going to see a chat bubble. Click on that and just upload your receipt or send me your invoice number. Once you've done that, I'll give you access to the courses. All right, let's dive in, let's get started and let me show you how to create a blog on Divi. All right, so what we're gonna do here is to, first of all, think about how we normally create our blog posts. So if you install Divi, like in this case, I've gone ahead and installed Divi, it is very tempting to just come over here to your post and then click on add new and then start building. So let me show you what it looks like if you do it that way. So let's say that our title for our blog here is, let's say first blog. So here you can click on use Divi Builder because of course we have Divi uh, installed. All right, so I'm gonna build this blog post from scratch. I'm just gonna copy some dummy text to add in here. So let's say I click here on build from scratch. Notice what happens. Although I have the ability to go in and add, let's say a text module like that, I can paste my text in here. And as you can see, it's updating. But we are actually designing this inside a frame which we don't have full access to. Let's say I wanted to add a background color to this whole blog, I couldn't. And also we have this annoying sidebar, although we can go in and quickly remove it, but as you can see here, this doesn't look really cool. And, and over here we have this comment area which we can't really go in and customize because this is pretty much around this border, which you don't have access to. The only access we have here is this part here where you can see highlighted. So let's say I add a background color here. This is pretty much all I can do here. So as you can see, I can't do much. This is the only area I have access to. So you don't of course do your blog post this way. All right, so now let's go in and show you how you're supposed to do this the proper way. And also, if you decide to do it this way, every single time you add a blog post, you are going to need to go in and go through this whole process of trying to pretty much work on this area here, which does not give you a lot of flexibility. All right, so uh, moving on, what we're gonna do is, let's go back over here to our dashboard. All right, so I'm just gonna discard and exit. All right, so ideally, the best way to go in and create your blog post is to go in and use the theme builder. So this is what you need to do. You need to come over here to Divi, click on theme builder. So here on the theme builder, this is where you can create a template, which will be pretty much a layout, which is going to be uh, custom to all your blog posts on your website. So let's go ahead and create that. So all you need to do is to come over here, click on this plus button, target all your posts. This is very important. You target all your posts, create template. Okay, now let's build the body of our template. So by clicking over here on add custom body, build custom body. Right, for this example, let's build everything from scratch. So let's start here with a single column. So we can go in and define exactly what we need on this layout. So let's start here with our post content. So this is very important because this is the content that's gonna be translated with this template when we add all the information on our blog post. All right, so what we need to do now is to go in and customize our content here. So I'm gonna go in and uh, first of all, click here on my module settings. So let's say I need to change this text altogether. I can just come over here to design text and Let's choose a font here. So the font I'm gonna go with is, you know I always use Poppins. I'm gonna change it around this time. And uh, let's change it to the right. There we go. Right, so you can see all my text has been changed. Now I'm gonna give this a color and I'm also going to go into these titles. So I'm gonna start here with this one here and let's set this to bold. And I'm gonna change my color. So I'm just doing this so that you see, you know, the changes to this. Go with that. Now, in fact, you know what? Let's change the color as it is. Uh, make this 
semi bold. Okay, great. So I've just made you know, a few quick changes here. If I save this now, I wanna show you something really amazing. I'm gonna close this, save and exit. So all I've done here is added the, the post content. So I'm gonna click on save changes. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to all my posts. I'm gonna open this in a new tab because I don't wanna go back and forth between these tabs. So over here, if I click on preview, right? Open this in a new tab as well. You notice that uh, nothing here is showing. Now, I'm gonna come back and edit this blog. Now, it's very important when you edit, edit this that you use the Gutenberg editor, okay? Because everything is going to be controlled by our template. So there's no need to go into Divi again to try and add all our content on here. So this is what a, a lot of people make mistakes here when they use uh, this editor. So over here on the top, I'm gonna say return to default editor. So this is where now I'm going to add all my content. So I'm gonna come over here and just add a few paragraphs of text and paste it. Okay, uh, what I may also want to do here is maybe add an image. So let's add an image here. There we go, here's an image. Media library, hopefully I have some images and yes, I do. All right, so I'm gonna add, let's go with this one here. Select that. So that's gonna be my image for my blog post. And uh, what I may also want to do here is to go to document and then click on featured image. So I'm gonna add a featured image to this as well. And this is gonna be, okay, let's go with that. Okay, get featured image and publish. Publish one more time. And now I am going to refresh. And now you can see that this now has taken my text which I added in my template, okay? So what I also want to do here is to add a title so you can really see this really taking shape. So over here now, I'm gonna add a new block and uh, this is gonna be a heading. So let's call this my heading, okay? We want this on the top and we also want a space between, between my image and my text. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button and add a spacer. Okay, there we go, a spacer there. I can go in and further customize this, but you know what? Let's just add 10, there we go, date. So as you can see here, I'm working in my Gutenberg editor. This is not the DVD theme, okay? So here I'm gonna refresh now and take a look at the title. You can see here my heading, it has my color, it has the font, and uh, now it has a space uh, between my paragraph text here and also uh, my image. So this is looking really cool. Now notice what happens when I come back over here to my builder. So if I go in and make further adjustments to my template, this is going to be applied to all my blog posts on my website. So back over here, I'm gonna click here on my module settings, design, and this time I'm gonna target this image. Now on this image here, I'm gonna give it some rounded corners. So let's go ahead and add, let's say five, okay? I've just added the subtle rounded corners here. And what I may also want to do is to increase the, the, the heading here and make it slightly bigger. Let's go, let's go with 42 and Let's make it bold. So the reason why I'm doing this is so that you see what sort of updates I am adding over here. So again, I'm gonna come over here to my posts. Let's make this slightly bigger. Let's go with 38, change our color here and save. Okay, so save this one more time and then I'm gonna save the whole template. Now back over here, if I refresh, look at that. My heading has been updated and pretty much my rounded corners have been added as well to my image. Now this is because it's being controlled by the actual template, which I've just created. Now, let's say you want to add your featured image here on your template. Of course, you can become very creative. You can come over here. Let's add a brand new, oh, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> right, you wanna come back over here and you can add a new section by coming over here. And in that section, you can add your featured image as your background to really make it look nice. So there's a lot that you can do here, but pretty much this is the way that you wanna go in and make changes to your blog post. You don't wanna go in and really create it from scratch using the theme builder. No, 
you want to come over here to the, the theme builder, build your template from there, and that template controls everything on the website. Now, you may be thinking, well, mm, I don't believe that. Okay, fine. I'm going to come over here to dashboard and I'm going to show you what our default blog post looks like. So I'm going to come over here to all posts. Now, this post here is what comes in by default with WordPress. So again, if I click on view, open this in a new tab, you can see here that this is the text that I customized in the, in the theme builder. Okay, so what if you want to really build a beautiful looking uh, blog for your Divi website? Well, that is very easy. All you have to do is to create your template here and you wanna go in and do quite a lot of work here on the templates. Now, let me show you what I've done. I've gone ahead and created a Blogger Pro template, which is on sale at $19 on funnels to income.com. I'll leave a link in the video description below and show you how, let me show you how it works now. So I'm going to delete that, delete this, reset. Now I'm going to go in and install the Blogger Pro template. So all, all you need to do is to come over here to these two arrows. Okay. I'm going to click on import file. So I'm going to look for the file in my computer here. Okay. So I'm just going to search for Blogger Pro here and here it is on my computer. I'm going to click on it. Click open and then import DV theme builder template. So what is, well, what is the, what this is going to do now is to import all my templates for all my various pages on my website. And once I've imported this, it's going to transform my whole blog just with a few clicks as you shall see in a few moments. So as you can see here, it's pretty much downloading all the files because this template is quite detailed. It also has updates to the 404 page, as you can see, the search results page, uh, the archive pages, the blog page itself, uh, the, the category pages. So it's a fully featured template that you can use pretty much on any website. Now, I want to save changes. And now we're going to take a look at the page that we were looking at a moment ago, which is the first blog. So now if I uh, open this in a new tab and refresh, you are going to see a totally different look. Now look at that. This is my featured image in the background. This is my title. It has also a bit of information here, the author, the date, and also the comments. We also have our social media links here. Now look at that. We have our heading, our description text. We have our image. And we can also have previous posts. Now, as you look here, we also have the ability to go in and add our sign up to the newsletter as well. And as I continue here, if we had more posts, you would see them over here. And look at that. The comments box has now been transformed. It's all branded and it looks really, really nice. And the most important of all, we now have a footer. So this template pretty much has everything that you need to make your blog post look really, really professional. Now, you may have not noticed something here. When I scroll here, notice that this image here is going to turn white. Now, the reason why it's doing that is because we want to make sure that when the viewer is scrolling through the blog post, they can read this information nice and easy. So as you can see, this template here is beautiful. Every single time you create a new blog post, it's going to have pretty much the same layout. So you can go in and just add all your content over here. All you have to do is to remember that if you need to edit all this content, let's click edit here so I can show you. You don't want to go into the Divi Builder here. You just add all your content on this Gutenberg blog page. So that's all you need to do. And the template takes care of all the business. So pretty much that's all I have for you in today's video. Uh, I hope you've learned a lot on how to create blog posts on your Divi website. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also do follow me on the social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.